On a related note, the latest election polls have just come out. And for the first time in weeks, the Likud party is back on top over Benny Gantz and Yair Lapid's Blue and White party. And though the lead is just by a single seat, it marks a continuing upward trend for the Likud ahead of the elections. So what changed? Well, joining us now to try and answer that question is Gil Hoffman, chief political correspondent and analyst for the Jerusalem Post. Gil, thank you very much for joining with us. Pleasure being with you here at the Knesset. All right. So, uh, so first of all, let's answer that question. What changed? Why do you think that uh, Benny Gantz and, and Yair Lapid and the Blue and White Party are dipping in the polls a little bit more now? Is it, uh, is it the hacking scandal? Is it uh, any of the other scandals that maybe Benny Gantz is kind of facing right now? Or is it, you know, what, what is it? Every party gets a boost when they have a, a primary that reveals their candidates. And so when Blue and White was formed and they brought their candidates together, the candidates of the Eshatid party of the Ayur Lapid and the candidates that both Benny Gantz and Moshe Alon had brought in, uh, that gave people new hope that they could present a serious challenge to Netanyahu. Uh, but then that buzz happened to wear off. And then Netanyahu was very successful in taking the air out of his investigations uh, by uh, talking about them endlessly for months to the point that when they came out, they didn't really surprise anyone. They didn't end up changing a single vote. Netanyahu didn't go down in the polls, which was something that Blue and White was really depending on. And after that didn't happen, that created this impression that they were losing their momentum. And after that happens, every little thing, whether it's a cell phone or saying the wrong thing, can hurt the party. So, okay, so you're saying that this was maybe a combination of like this honeymoon period uh, after the blue and white formed, uh, coupled with the fact that the allegations against Netanyahu didn't go anywhere politically or in the elections as far as uh, you're concerned? Yes, but there is still time to change it. I'm going straight from here to a press conference of the party leaders who are going to try to refocus the attention of the election on alleged corruption against Net by Netanyahu, and uh, maybe that can gain momentum um, as they get uh, more fierce in their attacks on the prime minister. Okay, so now we still have about a month left before the elections. Where, where do you th see things going? Where do you see the trends maybe building up in, uh, towards one party or the other? Uh, and why do you think that is? Well, uh, Netanyahu right now has the momentum. Uh, there are no new criminal investigations that are going to be started against him. He has the APAC conference next week. Uh, that can only help him unless he's going to get booed, and American Jews tend to be polite even though they disagree. Um, it's looking like he will, barring any changes that are dramatic and unexpected, uh, continue to ride smoothly, uh, but then probably last as prime minister only a few months, because when the investigation really leads to a real indictment, uh, he won't be able to keep a government together. and. Right now, it's looking like we're doomed to have another election next year. I see. All right. Well, uh, Gil Hoffman, thank you so much for, for joining us. And uh, I understand you're going to be checking out some of the, the parties later on tonight. Uh, so I hope to have you back uh, in the near future. Maybe you can fill us in on a little bit more. Pleasure.